Thank you for joining me. If this is your first time, welcome. Please consider subscribing. And if you are returning, I thank you so much for allowing me to increase your balloon knowledge, not only for decorating, but also for the business side. Today I'm going to be creating a simple balloon column that can be used for Valentine's Day. I'm going to be using Qualitex 11 inch balloon in purple violet and berry. I'm going to size them to 10 inches. Now whenever I inflate my balloons, I inflate them once, I deflate them and then I reinflate them. It makes the balloon stronger. So let's get started. <laughs> Take our tennis sizer and you're going to put the balloon down and try to get it centered and just let the air out until it can basically push through. Do the same thing with this balloon while holding on to the first one. Let me demonstrate the proper way to tie your balloons. You're going to take your balloons, you're going to put them together. Then you're going to pull them away from each other. Once you pull them away from each other, you're going to go up under that balloon twice. Once. Twice. And tie it. Now the reason why I go around it two times, especially for newbies, if you all have inflated more balloons than you need, don't waste your balloon by popping them. You can actually pull this balloon up and put your finger right through and take it apart. And that way you're saving your balloon. We are doing a five foot column. A five foot column has 32 balloons on it plus a, a balloon topper. You can put 36 balloons on it if you like, just to make it a little taller. I'm going to go ahead and inflate the rest of the balloons off camera. I now have all of my balloons inflated for the pole. I always put my balloons in a bag. I never put them on the floor because it collects dust and hair. This bag I got from Brody's Balloons. It's important for you to try to inflate your balloons at home and take them to the event with you. It saves you time. If you have a big enough vehicle, you can put them on the pole except for the topper, and then put the rest of your balloons on when you get to the event. It will definitely save you a lot of time. Now we're gonna cover our base. If you don't know how to make the base, it was in our very first video on how to build heavy base frames and poles. You can either wrap your base with a plastic tablecloth for the colors that you're putting on the, on the pole, or you can either use a plastic trash bag. And I'm just wrapping it here. And I'm taking a piece of scrap 260. Wrapping it around two or three times. And tying it off. You don't have to trim it or anything. I'm going to show you how I put the pole in the base. On the first video, we made the base and we cut the pole. Now, in order to join these poles together, we have to finish drilling a hole all the way through, and then we're going to connect it with a self-tapping screw. And take our self-tapping screw and then we're going to cover this with tape usually I use duct tape but I can't find my duct tape we're going to start right there over the screw and go up
Now our pole is ready for us to put the balloons on. And we're gonna put a balloon on top of here because this is short. So you're just gonna take your 11 inch balloon, open it up. This is one that I pre-inflated and you're just gonna put it on the top. We're gonna take our two sets of balloon and we're gonna join them together. And that's just putting them together and just twisting it so they're together. When you put your balloons on a pole, you're gonna slide them on. I'm pulling it apart so you can see. And they're gonna have the opposite colors. When you slide them on, twist them over. That's what locks it into place on that pole. We are using a 12 by 12 paver. When you put your balloons on the pole, you want to make sure they're squared off. You don't want them sitting like this. You want them squared off. Then you're just going to push your balloons down. Grab your next set and do the same thing. Slide them on that pole. Crisscross them over. And the second set is going to be going in the center. These two are to the side. When you push this down, it's going to be in the center. Grab your next set, push them over, put them on the pole. These two are squared again. Push it down. Now when you're doing a spiral pattern, you always want to make sure that your balloon's colors are touching. That's what makes it a spiral. The purple is going to be touching this purple, to this purple, to this one. And the same thing with the berries. Grab your next balloon set. on your pole, twist it over, push it down. And remember, these are balloons. Don't be afraid to push them down. Balloons do pop sometimes. Take our next set. Now what happens when you get your balloons out of pattern and they're not followed into place? The only thing you have to do is take it and just flip it, just move it around some. Okay, we're gonna work on the topper for the balloon column. And we're using 260 balloons. Already inflated most of them and put them in my bag. I'm going to be using my red inflator. I'm going to show you how to inflate the rest. I'm just going to inflate this balloon all the way to the end. Now, when I'm inflating 260s to use as toppers, I don't inflate it. I don't deflate it and then reinflate it. I like it for it to be nice and tight. Okay, once you get that balloon inflated, because of the ceiling height, we're going to let out some air and then I'm going to go to about right here. So let out some of the air and then go to right about right here and tie it off. If I were to leave it fully inflated, they're gonna to be touching the ceiling and I have popcorn ceilings and they may pop. Inflate your next one. It's inflated all the way to the end. Let some more out.
And this one, instead of tying it off, we're gonna go ahead and tie it directly to the previous balloon. And I like to trim mine off. I'm gonna go ahead and inflate the rest of the balloons off camera. Now that we've got all of our 260s inflated, we just need to twist them together. You're just gonna take one and just start twisting them together. And you're gonna to twist together all 40 that you inflated and try to stay in the center when you're twisting them together. Take it, pull it through, and then just pull it to lock it in place. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest off camera and I'll be back to show you how you complete this balloon collar. Okay, now we have all our balloons together. Now remember when I was telling you earlier about inflating your balloons at home and your topper to the event with you? When you have the 260s like this and you're putting them in the bag, the only thing you need to do is gather them up and then you're just gonna put them in your bag. Whenever I do my columns, tie my topper into my last, so I'm gonna take this 260 and pull it through our 260 that we have inflated. And you're gonna pull it all the way through tightly and tie it off. You're gonna make sure when you tie it, it's tied all the way in there. Now, you're gonna take your 260s and tie them into your And when you tie it on, you want to make sure you pull because you want your 260s balloon to sit down in there. Now let me show you how to put your topper on your collar. When you're putting your topper on, you're going to make sure your balloon stay in the same pattern. You're going to take your 260s you're going to pull it down over this set balloons right there. You're going to pull it tight, wrap it around, wrap it around this one also. and tie it off. After you get it tied off, you're gonna go ahead with your top quad and you're gonna make sure that it's pulled down to the top of your collar and to lock it on the pole, we're just gonna do like we normally do, flip it and make sure you stay in your pattern. Now, it's securely on your pole. Now this is the finished look. The backdrop that I'm using in my videos, I did make that backdrop and I will explain to you in the next video on framing how you can make your own backdrop. Notice how I ensure the balloons are on the pole correctly. You can't really see the pole and some balloon artists obsess over seeing that pole. I've been doing balloons for 25 years. Not one customer has ever said, we can see the pole. Don't obsess over the little things. If you want to paint your pole or cover your pole, that's fine. Why waste your time? That's an extra cost. 
customers are not going to pay attention to their poll. They are going to pay attention to your balloon decor work. I will be creating a tutorial soon on how to price your work. I struggled for years pricing my work correctly until I got a mentor. In a lot of balloon groups I'm in, that's the number one question. How much would you charge for this? Pricing your work involves more than calculating your balloons, your time, and your decor. You can make the most beautiful decor, but if it's not making money, it doesn't make sense. As a balloon educator, let's work on this together so you can get on the right track and grow your business successfully.